Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So it's the final wrap on our 2017 Jaguar F-Type. Basically got everything done. So we're gonna go talk about the price, we're gonna talk about the parts, what we did, what we had done to it, and just check out this beautiful car. So before we talk about how much this thing ended up costing us, let's go ahead and give it a bath. Definitely dusty, all that Bondo dust, being inside, getting this thing dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that first. And then we can talk about the details, what happened to it, what's going on, how it turned out, and just do a price breakdown and see how it turned out. I am actually very, very excited to drive this thing around. There's so many different little hidden features on this thing, watching a lot of videos, learning all about the Jaguar F-Type, so pretty cool. But like I said, we can't ride dirty. Now we're not just gonna take it for a ride, we're actually gonna be driving this thing, so might as well look good. We're gonna wash the outside, clean the inside, get this thing looking good, get a detail, do an alignment on it, make sure everything passes, and then take it for a drive. See what it does on the road. So obviously we can't give this thing a bath with the top down. All right guys, so obviously we have to put the top up, push of a button. So nice, no latches, no nothing. You can actually do this while you're driving. Definitely gotta try that out. Secured, roof is latched. Close my windows. Nice. All right, all right, looking good, all washed up. I was able to get it inside and actually do the interior. So the interior looks great, but right now we're worried about the alignment, make sure our tire pressure is good, then we can actually hit the road and feel what close to 500 horsepower supercharged all-wheel drive will feel like. I'm excited, I don't know. Who knows, might compare to the Hellcat, the Camaro, the Corvette, who knows? So that's really exciting, but we do wanna make sure we're going straight. So like I said, we'll get this alignment knocked out first and we'll be able to hit the road, talk about the price reveal and all sorts of goodies.
All right, guys, here at my local park, driving it around, so much fun for sure. Definitely cleaned up nice. Dry wire is beautiful. Inside and out, I'm gonna call it watermelon, get it? Green and red, but very nice. It's definitely grown on me, the red interior. First I was like, I don't know, but honestly, it definitely pops out, very clean. Turned out beautiful. I did a great job on the body work. That looks great. Caps look good. In and out. Beautiful. Definitely a lot of features in this car that I'm gonna have fun figuring out, but hey, you know, it's part of the journey. Overall, an eye catcher. F-Type, this all-wheel drive supercharged is definitely fun to kick. The valves open up. Oh yeah, it feels like a sports car for sure. All right guys, so let's just play around a little bit, watch some videos on this thing, how it all works. Pretty cool that pops up like that, so I guess if you hold that button for a while, they could get into the programming, because there's like software updates on this thing. It's basically like an iPhone, you get updates or Android. Sorry guys, the glare, beautiful sun. Beautiful sunny day today for sure. Let's see if this works. Like I said, watch the videos and you can see what kind of software update you have on there. But basically, there it goes. And then you could start playing around with it. Software version. And this one I have actually does do the crackle and popping. Some of the updated ones get rid of that. But it's pretty sweet when you're going to let go of the gas and boo -boo -boo, crackle, crackle, all that supercharger. Definitely feels like a sports car, so we're gonna leave that alone, kind of keep it the way it is, but that's pretty cool. You could see what you have. Oh yeah. Valves open up. The thing just likes to go up and down. Pretty cool, 51,000 miles on it, not bad. All my lights are gone. We actually fixed the seat, airbag, all that gun stuff is sewed up, so that's done. Beautiful. Sorry, like I said, so bright in here. Just the overall feel of this car is so unique. It's interesting, there's like a trigger right here that you have to pull. It's kind of like a joystick and then park, but if you don't pull that, it just goes into neutral. Lots of little features that are fun. So that's your top, that's your valves, parking brake, it goes on and on automatically. Automatic engine stop was kind of weird first time. I was driving it, the engine stopped. I was like, oh man, what happened? Let go of the brake and all of a sudden, car turns on again. So I was like, okay, but automatic engine stop. Freak you out every once in a while. So nice. Very clean. I like it. Let's cruise around. So let's go ahead and talk about the price breakdown of this, how much it ended up costing us, everything that we did to it. As you remember, the quarter panels, damaged door, side skirt, all that fun stuff. But got that all figured out and the handles I was always like man what's going on why won't they close but basically everything has to be locked and they go away so that's pretty cool if you don't have the handles I mean the remote that won't un unpop your mirrors fold automatically so it's pretty sweet man all right but like I said let's talk about the breakdown how much thing this thing cost us so the quarter panel right here $700 now I'm going to talk about how much the parts were not the labor, not charging, how much Ivan would you know charge you kind of thing. Just talking about the basics, how much we picked it up for, how much the parts were, how much it ended up costing us. Like I said, not including all the other little things that are expensive. So we picked it up from Copar for after everything, fees and blah, 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 16,735. That's how much it came out to be after Copar fees, bringing it home over close to $600. So quarter panel, like I mentioned, $700. Airbag was $200, ended up just being a whole seat. A lot of flooded vehicles going on, but good thing we got ourselves a seat that wasn't flooded. Too bad, airbag was fine, so we got that. Needed to get a control arm, like you've seen with the alignment was off, so that was $248. To get that seat sewn was $100. SRS reset was also hundred dollars so the airbag light was turned off basically that was the only light on the dash itself so about 
I would say $19,000 is what we have in it, roughly, plus or minus a little bit. But overall, that's where we're at for this 2017 with 50,000 miles Jaguar F-Type, which I would say is pretty sweet. Definitely so many features, like I said, about it. So it's fun to drive. You got the comfort, but you got the power of a race car. Like I said, that four-wheel drive supercharger is no joke. Plenty of power. Sweet ride for a great price. So this thing, this thing has a great turn point radius. So it should be awesome to turn like on a dime, no problem. I wonder if you could still latch the top while you're driving. So let's find out. Driving. Yeah, I'm closing the top. The top is definitely moving as I'm riding. Wow, pretty sweet. You don't need to be parked. Nice. Latch down. So I'm guessing it's safe to assume you can do the same thing as you're driving to put the top down. Yep, there it goes. No problem. Probably a certain speed they can only go up to, but not a problem. Sweet. Roof is latched. What a beautiful weather, honestly. Let's go for a drive. shop safe and sound Jaguar did fantastic honestly performed like a dream all-wheel drive definitely kicks you back in the seat what a beautiful sports car I would say but yet every day you could definitely daily this thing plenty of power looks great turns heads and honestly for a great price well like $19,000 turned out for us I would definitely daily that thing but that's all the time we have for this episode guys make sure you stay tuned we are gonna get some cool builds coming up soon who knows honestly whatever's playing Whatever we could win for a good deal, we'll try to go for it. But leave some comments down below what you want to see next. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time.